I do, Buckaroos. Hey, this is a Thanksgiving weekend, y'all. I hope y'all are having a good one. I am, I am, I am. Trying to be a whisper. Who else would I be, man? Also, uh, again, I just found this one today. The Shoots uh, Sage Fright Imperial IPA. So let me read just a tad from their website. Citrusy hops go head to head with resinous sage and juniper in a flavor battle royale. The moths are pale, crystal, and Munich. Excuse me. Uh, the hops are Millennium Bravo, Amarillo, and Centennial. They use the sage and juniper berries. It is 8% 75 IBUs, available September through February. The main event for Hopheads has arrived. In the right corner, we have Lively Botanicals, healing from the high desert. In the left, we have to wait. Citrus Hops are looking for a knockout. Get ready to take a punch and keep on swinging with this bold Imperial IPA brewed with sage and juniper berries. Okay, so there you go. Let's see what she's got, shall we? Let's see if it lives up to all of that hype. It is interesting on the nose, I gotta tell you. Uh, sometimes when you use competing hops, it doesn't always work. It has to find that right balance. Uh, what I'm getting on the nose well, it's a mix of, of that sage, the juniper berries, and what feels like lemon zest to me. Hmm. Well, at first sip, <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it or not, to be honest with you. I'm going to have to keep working on it. Very mouthy. I'm almost getting some buttery-like notes that I'm finding a little unpleasant. Uh, and then I get, I get those, you know, I, I get those botanicals. I get the, the sage, the, the juniper berries, uh, the various pine that you typically get from an IPA. You know, those hops that they mentioned. There are some, cit there, there are some, there is some citrus in there as well. I picked this up because it was only uh, 9.98 for a six-pack, which is fairly reasonable for an Imperial IPA these days. 8% 75 IPs. Like, what the heck? Let's give it a shot. I don't know. This, this is one of those that may take, sometimes a beer takes me two or three to really get a feel for it. Um, at first glance, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. There, there's some, some things that just aren't working for me. And that's not to say it won't work for you. And I think that's the problem is, as a lot of beer folks, uh, seem to uh, be like the Sith if you're not with me or against me. You know, they speak in absolutes. They tell you exactly what's in there. And by golly, if you don't agree with exactly what they say, you're wrong. Well, we all taste things differently. So, and so this may, these may be flavors that work for you at the moment. I'm not sure if they work for me or not. So I'm going to stop this right here and let it sit and see if at some point these flavors <laughs> start working for me. I'm going to be with for a bag. Well, how do you do, Buckaroos? I don't know if you heard that or not. I had to pause it. I forgot to pause it before I started because I don't know if YouTube's going to flag me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hard Mind by Chris Duarte Group was played. I actually saw Chris Duarte. I do it's been probably over a decade ago now. God, he's just an amazing guitar player. Though. It was uh, on the Headspin Tail Whack Tour, I do believe. So anyways, yeah, I wanted to come back for just kind of a um, I don't know, some final notes on this one, actually. The Shoots uh, Sage Fried Imperial IP. i got to tell you, I don't know if it works for me. It may work for you. I don't know. I mean, it's not a bad beer. But I, it seems to, there's just competing flavors that kind of, that, well, they just don't work. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Uh, there, you know, um, you do get some citrus. I get a lot of lemon, uh, specifically, out of lemon zest. Excuse me, my nose is all fancy. Uh, you, you do feel the, the, the sage and the juniper berries and everything else going on. But something seems off with the malt for me. I'm getting a lot of buttery, kind of butterscotch-like notes that I don't know if maybe this one, I mean, it, it was warm when I bought it. They didn't have any cold, so I don't know, maybe it sat out too long. I don't know what the issues are. I don't know if it's the way this beer is supposed to taste. I don't know if maybe, I, don't, I, I just don't know. I, what I do know is,
what I do know is uh, just used to make some fine beers, and this may work for some, but I, I do find that the, the competing flavor is a little off-putting for me. So there you go. Hey, I'm trying to be a whisperer. I'm out, baby. 